three, two, one. Boom! Yo. So, this one's for, um, I hope that people get some value out of it. YouTube. Um, but this one's for me, for my memories of 2020. Um, so far, I want to record every now and again a little memory one for myself of where I'm at because I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm pretty excited with where I'm going, with the, what I'm studying and what I'm learning and what I'm coming to now with Qigong. Qigong and um, the microcosmic orbit meditation too so that being said um, I thought I'd make a video about that the microcosmic orbit and Qigong Qigong which many people in the health community are aware of is very 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 powerful thanks for joining um, Qigong um, Qigong it's actually pronounced Qigong right Qigong super powerful I'm pretty sure most of you probably had experiences of it I haven't even tried it ever um, nope I've never tried it I've been doing, I've, I've always been of the belief, a little bit, not dogmatic, but I've always been a yoga guy since I got into yoga one half years ago. Um, I was doing it twice daily, then once daily, and then last year I stopped doing yoga um, after some point in April, May. I stopped, when I got into Sunrise Sunset Therapy, I stopped doing yoga last year. And now I'm back on yoga t twice daily, not just once daily. I love yoga so much, but I've got a funny feeling from what? you guys have been posting about on Qigong and how powerful it is, it's put a seed in me. This is what I mean when I say I teach and I help people I absorb so much from other people. So much from everyone. And anyway, I was watching your posts, guys, and um, people were saying, oh, you know, actually, there was one particular post from Jilu. Jilu um, posted, and, and his post was, um, what is, his, his post was, Hey, yoga's cool. I love the way he did this post, by the way. It triggered me and made me think. He said, yoga's cool, but have you ever tried Qigong? Like, hmm. Then I said, yeah, I really like to try that. And, and Luca and a couple of others said that. They did do it. If someone posted up videos, I can still go back to that and find the search for the, the videos. But it put a seed in me. This is December. So, I um, went to the library a few days ago. And um, yoga books. I've been back on yoga, so I'm okay with that. I need to learn some new yoga poses. I'll never give up yoga. I fucking love yoga so much. I don't talk about it enough, by the way, guys. I don't talk about how fucking amazing yoga is, quickly. I used to think yoga was just about detoxification. It's so much more. It rebalances my brain hemispheres, makes my left, my weaker left side of the body strong. It makes me feel whole. I have moments of divinity practicing yoga. Um, my 40 minutes, just once daily, but twice daily. Like, I've had moments of divine, 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 where I've really been in touch with my higher consciousness because the breath slowed down. I don't know the reasons. It's, it, I feel like yoga is not just tackling the physical, it's tackling the mental and spiritual. And by the way, that applies to Qigong too. Qigong, I've got a funny feeling, isn't just one of those things that does a little bit with your physical exercise. It's everything. It's all encompassing yoga and Qigong. They tackle your spiritual... Um, your astral, your chakras, uh, or everything. Every, if you believe in the seven bodies, and I do, then yeah, it tackles everything. It's amazing. Anyway, I went to the library a few days ago, and I took out a book called the Qigong Bible, and I took a book on Tai Chi, too. I think Tai Chi is a slower version of Qigong. Um, call me out if I'm wrong on that. I think it is. So, yeah, I took a Qigong Bible. I took a loads of books out, and um, I'm starting to read this, and I find it fascinating, man, Qigong. It's, it's so well explained, this Bible thing. And... Also, the microcosmic orbit. So in this book, um, it talks about the microcosmic orb meditation, which is very simply, um, as explained in this book, on the out breath, you put the tongue to the top of your palate, so that's completing the microcosmic orbit, and on your out exhale, you don't force the breath, but on the exhale, you start from the top of the tongue, and you imagine it going down the air on the exhale to the perineum, which is in between the anus and your, your private, your yoni, your testicles. So on the exhale you do that, and on the inhale you magic over the governor child of the back up to the head and down to the palate. Right, that is the microcosmic orbit according to this book. And I always thought it was the other way around. So in and it is in a way you can do it the other way around. Inhale, but I've, I've been trying it the way in this book. So not and going up the back. Do, do exhale. I'm going as the book says the microcosmic orbit meditation. Exhale and tongue to the top constantly you go exhale you go down to the perineum from the breath from the, to the tongue and then from the inhale and i'll tell you what, what my god i've got a funny feeling this is very fucking powerful wake up harry where have you been for this time if you not realized in my cosmic orbit meditation you're probably thinking holy shit i've just done a couple of minutes of that 
yesterday, and I swear I've been having some really strange moments of presence and clarity. I've done some today, um, if I do it inside outside, it doesn't make a difference. I, was, I, I thought at first I was going a little crazy. Sometimes I get like this, I think like, hmm, can't be this powerful, it's just a fucking meditation. <laughs> it's just a microcosmic oriented meditation. I'm like, no, there is something powerful which I'm going to have to talk about more as I go. In this book, it says you could do the microcosmic orientation for it, try and do it for like 20 minutes to half an hour. It's only a couple of minutes, and it seems to be doing really crazy things to me. Yes, I do a load of other things, so my base of vibration, but I'm talking about my vibration goes even higher. Something, something about the, there's, there's, there's a link here between the microcosmic orbit meditation, which is super easy to do, I've just told you. Tongue to the top of your, tongue to the top of your, close your eyes, tongue to the, imagine it, your breath going down, and then inhale, and then back channel to the brain, up to the top of the palate, and then exhale, keep going around in a loop, from the front, the body, down to the perineum, to the back of the body, and the inhale, up to the thing. It's so powerful, and it's doing something as well to what I, I'm already doing, which is the Montauk Chia cool draw, which is practicing three times daily, the um, setting the semen up, um, anus contractions, um, with thoughts, and that's going up on the inhale, on the, well, it doesn't matter, inhale, exhale, I'm, in the, I'm just contracting and relaxing the perineum, so it's powerful. What I'm going to say is that the, there's some link there, obviously it's sexual energy, but there's a link between the microcosmic, it's doing something, really powerful, I can feel the energy in my bollocks that I normally can't, well I've had moments I can, but I'm having it consistently, this energy, and I think it's, op the microcosmic orbit meditation is opening up something inside me, and it opens up me, guess what, it opens up inside you, that's why I make these videos, that's why I can talk about health, because what we'll we'll applies as a guy, by the way, I'm not just talking about guys, um, microcosmic orbit meditation is for women too, so you practice going up to your perineum, the same as I explained. It's very powerful. Try that out if you want to, guys. Don't believe me. It's very simple, like I said. You know, and again, tongue, close your eyes, tongue to the tip. Exhale, just imagine the energy going down from the, for the full exhale to the perineum. And then on the inhale, imagine it going round the back, up the spine. And just do that, like 20 rounds, 30 rounds, one minute, two minutes. Very powerful. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experiment a lot. What if I did 20 minutes, half an hour every day? I'm thinking in my mind, I need to add the microcosmic orbit meditation to transcendental meditation, to twice daily yoga, to fasting, to grounding, to um, aged urine, to everything I do. Ha! <laughs> I've got so much to have. <laughs> I love my life. Have you noticed that? I love that, the amount of shit I do for my health. Because they're all so powerful. It raises my vibration. I fucking love it. So yeah, that's that's what I'm going to talk about a lot more. Just giving you the heads up and for my memories on my cosmic orbit meditation. So yeah, I've made my first inroads into that. When I get into something, I tend to be one of these people but don't let go of it. I get addicted to it. Aged urine, urine therapy, yoga. I don't tend to stop once I get started. Once something's high vibe and I figure it out and I know, learn how to do it and I'm willing to practice and be a beginner. Once I'm willing to be a beginner. Because I was a beginner at yoga and all this shit. You know, reading books. I've never been, been to one yoga class, by the way, guys. I read a book called Yoga Self Taught by Van Lisbeth. And I don't even. Uh, I do believe in going to yoga classes and I will go in the future. For the time being, I'm getting a lot of value and it's really transforming my consciousness practicing yoga. Literally, the book everything right. Now, I do agree, yes, you should go to yoga class to get perfected. I'm probably not doing anything right, but I'm getting a lot of benefits. The point is, I'm excited, and the, the Qigong, I'm going to mess about my cosmic orbit. Oh, in, a, in this book, too. Oh, man, this book is great. The, the, um, there's not just the my cosmic orbit meditation, there's the. I'm looking at the clear brow of the sage meditation. It's all linked. This is in the Qigong book, this meditation. Um, my cosmic orbit, it's all the same thing. So yeah, there's another meditation I'm going to try out. I'm really excited to do the clear brow of the sage, which is basically, you know, in 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 Qigong and in Taoism, you've got the three dantians, the the upper dantian, the center dantian, the lower dantian, and then yeah, that's right, isn't it? Upper, center, and lower. And in the clear brow of the sage meditation, which I will try, report back to you guys and make make consistent if it's really powerful. You just focus in on this upper end, the third eye, the pineal whatever you want to call it, and let's see what happens with that. I mess about with that, and there's a meditation here I want to mess about with the key, the chi washing, which sounds interesting. You just imagine the, the waters of your energy systems flowing out of the body. So, oh, fuck me, man. Life is very exciting, huh? Let us know your experiences with Qigong. It's very powerful, and um, I think, no, I know that I'm going to be doing both. I, I, it's quite surprising, actually. I never thought even last, this point last year. I go thing where I thought, I'm just a yoga guy. I'm not a Qigong guy. I'm just a yoga guy. I do keep adding yoga poses and um, doing loads of yoga, and I'll get to that point of being proficient in yoga and doing the most complicated poses. Not for the sake of doing it, but the sake of um, it actually gives you loads of benefits. I want to 
to in duality to be the best version of my yoga self as I can, right? And to really get rid of those knots and work on the flexibility of my body for yoga. But I'm starting to think now, Qigong, I, I know Qigong is one thing that I'm going to have to get to. And um, I'll be watching YouTube and watching and reading this book and practicing, most of all practicing and perfecting the art by myself internally. And yes, I do believe in getting going to classes for yoga and Qigong. There is value to those things. Don't get me wrong. But now, whilst I'm a free guy, I'm going to do it wrongly, maybe, but still see the benefits. And then eventually I'll go to classes. But I'm very excited for this, um, for my future and just doing so many things in a day. I think my specialty, I have weaknesses too, obviously, but my specialty is I've always been willing to do uh, loads of crazy things that are powerful. And I'm also willing to make just doing healthy things. I mean that, my entire day, because it just feels so fucking glorious, I love it. And, and I can share it too with you guys, which I appreciate, and I can get the lessons from doing, spending my entire day doing healthy shit, pretty much. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's powerful, I'm so glad, and thank you for the Facebook community, everyone that talks about Qigong, and has been saying it's more powerful than yoga, and it's just such a beautiful thing to do, it's very simple. Uh, I love the fact too, it's not like you have to be super flexible to do Qigong, Yoga, you have to be somewhat, and if you you have issues, you can do a lot with yoga even if you're not flexible, but I mean, Qigong is much easier, right? But it's much more concentrated, and you could argue harder, so you've got to really go try. I love the mastery to come, I'm looking forward to life, and all its rich blessings, and thank you to the, this is a shout out, by the way, to the Taoism and Chinese, fucking legends, the Taoism, the Chinese and Taoism, look what's happened, I'm now in um, the complete sexual health mastery of Taoism, on Chia stuff is Taoism. Uh, posted today on Taoism. I've got a book called The Tower of Love and Sex. I've got Dan Reed's got a great book, Health, Sex, and Logivity. It's all about Taoism and sex. I love Taoism and the angles that Taoism, Chinese, any Chinese have got on sex. I love that idea. Mike Cosmic Orbit Between Partners, Dual Cultivation. Fucking love that shit. Beautiful. Sex, non ejaculation, seam retention. That came from Taoism, Chinese. Thank you. And now, Qigong, Tai Chi. These are all Chinese, ancient Chinese. How amazing are that group of people? And funny enough, that's where the Korean anus virus came from, isn't it? China. Ha! <laughs> what a joke. Alright, thanks for watching. I wish you all a grand day. And, um, yes, if you haven't done or are on the fence with Tai Chi and Qigong, watch my posts. And um, I will post a lot more about Qigong and Tai Chi um, and how I'm doing with it and what I'm experiencing, the most important thing, um, and just how powerful it is. I, the comparison game is kind of, kind of stupid. At the time, it's not, is it? Um, it's kind of cool, and we do want to know what works really powerfully, and it's easy to do. Um, I'm a lazy person, in a way, so I will let you know, I'll keep you updated, but I just, yeah, this is the beginning. 2020's been crazy. <laughs> 2020's been crazy. There's also been no porn at all this year. I think, I, I generally think in my heart, and this is good for me, I generally think in my heart, I'm, I've done with porn forever, um, and it's just come about at 2020, so, because it's linked in with the sexual health mastery, which I've taken super seriously. So much, and I realized the power of sexual energy not just a seam retention, but actually practicing setting it up the cool draw, yeah, the Montauk Chia stuff, practicing setting up. So now it's linked, that's what's given me the motivation to stop the porn. I think the sexual health mastery. So, um, we'll see, never say never. But what a crazy year so far! I'm humbled and honored to um, serve in some small capacity. Uh, it is small, but hey, I'm enjoying my life, enjoying my consciousness and vibration, and coming up, and it's pretty fun. And um, I definitely would be doing it if, if, just for myself, but it's nice to all share for each other on for example, like deeds, which is a fun to share what you and other people can learn and help. We can help each other, encourage each other, inspire each other, and certainly learn. It's not just a tool where we sit arrogantly and think, yeah, I know everything I need to know about Facebook. Um, uh, you know, I'm just going to just uh, get my message out there and not support everyone. It's definitely not what I'm like. We try and do a bit of both. You want to put the information out there, you also want to support you. So, there we go. Cool. Alright, peace and uh, blessings on this rich day. It's sunset time here in the UK. I'm going to chill out, make some time. No, I'm not actually. I'm going to do an interview with somebody very cool, um, which I'll post up on my YouTube soon. So, alright, peace. Have a lovely day, guys. Thanks for watching.